Hi YouTubers, Terry here. I haven't done a video in forever. To be honest, I got a new phone and um, the setup for recording videos off my iPhone is different now and I haven't figured it out. So um, I just haven't had a lot of patience to to figure it out. I hadn't planned on getting a new phone, but I did. And, um, so I'm just, I'm kind of... Yeah, getting used to it. I made these little um, Hershey Kiss um, little triangles. Um, I can't tell you whose who's, uh, channel I saw it on, but I thought they were really cute. What I'm finding is these, um, I taped these in with some sticky tape and they're kind of popping out. So I'm going to have to figure out um, how I bet I did that one and I just did little um, foam glitter foam hearts and each one has um, five um, Hershey's Kisses in it and just I made a window um, with a punch and uh, they're all similar but not exactly alike um, that one's got Happy Valentine's Day. This one has a... Um, I think I need to push the kiss down into the sticky stuff better. This one. Um, this one. That one. That one, these seal at the bottom. I mean, I figured out the dimensions myself because I wanted to give five Hershey's Kisses. So I just figured out the dimensions and um, this one, that one, this one. And this one, oops, that one. So there's those. I was kind of on a roll and then kind of fizzled a little bit. Now these um, pom-poms I got, I think after Valentine's Day last year at um, Hobby Lobby. And I just made them into... Um, paper clips, really cute paper clips. When I put these out at work, the staff at the school I work at just go crazy over them. Um, and I thought these turned out really cute. There's, I think I used three different sizes. So they're just really easy just to put glue down in there and then stick it together and, and um, really cute, simple, fun. I will paper clip, the, I use these to clip stuff to other people at work um, so it's functional but also uh, cute so then I just made these little four packs of Hershey's Nuggets um, just use my punch to punch out the heart I just used what nuggets I had left and then called it good so I did that um, so that was another project I made a few of And then these aren't filled yet, but I wanted to show them to you because it was kind of a great deal. So at Michael's, I got this 30 piece celebrated um, wedding favor kit. And you can see it's these heart tens and there's 30 of them. And, um, what I did was I used paper and washi tape and stickers. I haven't filled them yet. So I used just paper I had in my stash and um, washi tape around the edge or paper around the top edge. This is paper and this is washi tape. And then that was an adhesive sticker. And um, what's cool is that they come in 30 in this package. 
Now, I can't remember how much it was. It might have been $15 or something like that. But she said she wasn't supposed to use a coupon on it, but she did. Um, so I, I got it for, I can't remember how much, $9 or something. Um, there's this one. So they're all a little bit different. Um, I did get some, um, of the real thin washi. This is with, with ribbon around it. Um, I just use ribbon, um, on some of them and some little die dies I had die cut uh, embellishments I had and this is washi tape this is paper holographic paper um, so that just gives you an idea oh this is um, a line of stickers off a sti big 12 by 12 sticker sheet um, and that, that worked good for it and um, I really liked this holographic um, and see I just use little heart uh, gems so you can see I so I did 30 of those so I just need to buy the fillers um, and put them in but what I really wanted to show you is th these hearts tins came packaged in this um, so this is the packaging. So there's five of these that layered in between. So they won't fit in here now because they've got paper in them, but they fit in, um, in here. And that's probably not gonna, let me see. You can see it a little bit better there. Okay. So what I did was I thought I'm going to try and make shaker um, because these are raised pretty good. It's got a nice lip there. And I thought I'm going to try and make shakers. And I thought maybe I'd get maybe four out of this tray of six. And, um, but when I got to doing it, um, I found that I could use all six. So I'm going to be able to make 30 shaker cards out of these um, uh, dividers in this 10 um, box of tins. So let me show you what I made. Now I'm not totally done with the cards, but I wanted to show you because it's getting closer to Valentine's and if you want to do this, it's time to do it, I think. So here is the um here's the shaker so what i did is i traced around this plastic um and i had to do some adjustments and i just cut it out of um thinner paper um and then i cut it out of a cardboard made a cardboard template um and so then i just put the cardboard template where i wanted to cut out the heart traced around it, cut it out, and that gave me a window, a heart-shaped window in the pattern paper um, for me to do the um, shaker. And I did a die cut that says love and I glued it on the inside. If I was going to do this again, I probably would, well, I am gonna do more. I don't know if I'll get to it this year. But I would probably maybe glue a few um, sequins up here. Um, I would probably do that different. And um, I would, I made a little square for the backing so that when you're filling, after you fill your, I don't have all oh, one to show you, but after you, after you fill this, I put a little paper backing over it. Um, I glued it to it. And then I would let it sit like that to, to dry. So the glue dries completely before you turn it over. Because if you turn it over too soon, the little um, 
sequins and stuff can get caught up in the glue that's along the edges. So, and you might be able to figure out a better way to do it. But, you know, a trial and error, I think they're really cute. You can fit a lot of sequins in it. I don't know if I'm done with this front. Um, I might do something down here. I don't know. Or put some ribbon or trim around the, the, uh, the shaker thing. But I am really happy with how these are turning out. And then I did coordinating um, innards and stamped um, Made With Love on the back. And then I had these um, envelopes, matching envelopes. Um, so I coordinated them. So there's one. I think they're all a little bit different. This one I glued the love on the outside of the... Um, of the window and I actually punched out some pink hearts. I was trying to just add that base color in in more places and I put a little polka dot backing paper but I'm happy with that how that one turned out. And there's the um, inside and then there's the envelope that matches and you won't be able to put these through the mail unless you protect them really well because this um, plastic isn't real sturdy. If I pushed on it, it would collapse. It's sturdy enough, but it, not for pushing on it. Um, and going through the mail wouldn't work. I put some more little hearts in this one and glitter uh, shaker mix. And this is on the outside. And um, did some stamping and stuff there. And here's the coordinating envelope. Here is... Um, I really like how this one turned out. This was how the paper was. Um, the love's on the inside. Lots of shaker stuff in there. Um, the inside looks like this. And the envelope looks like that. This one I used, I, I don't, I'm not really, I don't like this color in here. It's got more purples and magentas and stuff in it. But um, I mean, I'll still use it, it's just not my favorite. And then there's the inside of that one and the envelope. And now that I look at these, I think I'll probably won't add much more to them. This one, I just put different hearts around here um, and put it up on foam tape and uh, happy with that, how that turned out. This one just has happy Valentine's Day. And then here is the envelope for that. So I just wanted to share kind of a, a bonus, you know, if you, get these and fill them and which I think are really cute for filling them with treats and stuff and I think there's real special friends that I'll give them this and the shaker card and um, just make a cute little gift set kind of thing so I wanted you to have the opportunity to see this and and the shaker cards that you can make with that so thanks for watching and I'll be back with some cards I made thank you